Okay, just a little bit ago, it was raining here at Dogwood Canyon. Now, we got a little break. So I'm coming out from under the canopy to see that all that Dogwood has to offer. And of course, who better to talk with me about that than Samantha? You remember her from last time. <laughs> Samantha, we're on bicycles. Another way to see Dogwood Canyon. This is just one other way to experience the canyon and get up close with nature. We have our bike rides where you can rent single speed or coaster brake bikes. You also can hike the canyon on foot. We have over nine miles of nature trails. Mm -hmm. Also, we have over six and a half miles of paved pathways for the bikers, the walkers, and our trams. And if you want to have innovation meet wilderness, we also have our 90 minute Segway tours. Oh, so you let the Segway do all the work for you. <laughs> yes. See, that, that's not a bad. <laughs> now, uh, let, let's back up a little bit to the bikes because, you know, you mentioned the two different kinds of bikes. But what about for people who may be, you know, the little ones or things like, can you can you help everybody out? We have bikes of a variety of sizes. We even have kitty carts that you guys can pull. And you can bring your own bike to enjoy Dogwood Canyon. Oh, so if maybe you have a special bike that you really like, you can just bring it along with you. You can bring you. it along with you. Very nice. Tell me a little bit about the hiking because there are plenty of people who like to hoof it in the Ozark. Oh, yeah. Explore Dogwood Canyon on foot. We have over nine miles of nature trails right along the canyon wall. You can go up and explore all the neat things that you don't get to actually see on the paved pathway. Uh, now the anglers, you also have things for them both by themselves or if they want a guide or something. You can help uh, people of all skill levels when it comes to fishing. Here. Right here we have our guided trout fishing over in Little Indian Creek. Mm -hmm. We also have um, more fishing along the way, which you will need to tour guide for that. Right. Now, one thing that's really, I mean, it's special as far as I, because I didn't realize that, you don't necessarily have to have a license to fish here. You do not here. We welcome everyone. Because this is private property. It is. So, you, you know, if you don't have a license and you want to try something out, this would be a great place to do that. Perfect place with the biggest rainbow, ro rainbow trout you'll ever see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, well, that's part of the tour that we took earlier. Oh. You can see these. Tr they're huge. They're, so, yeah. You'll be happy you catch something here. But we, we're talking about catch and release, right? But you can also keep the fish, can you not? Um, yes, for an extra price, you That's can. But I mean. we do encourage catch and release so we can keep those ring out here. That's part of the conservation message that this is all about, yes. yes? What else is going to be going on as we go through the year? Because I know, you know, so much goes on here at Dogwood Canyon. We also have our horseback riding tour. Yes. We offer a one hour class and also a two and a half hour class that includes lunch. You get to go on the back pathways through the little Indian stables, on the back logging paths that we have that the prior people have used, and you get to see the park in a whole new way on horseback. Exactly, which is probably the way that the original people saw it on foot, on horseback. You also are talking about tours in the evening where you're going to be able to have dinner. Yes, our Dogwood Dinner Tram starts this Friday, August 5th. They will be Friday and Saturday starting at 5 o'clock all the way through October. You're going to hop aboard one of our open air tram tours, go throughout the canyon, see our cascading waterfalls, our creek beds, cross the path, our handcrafted bridges, and then you will end the tour actually at our chuck wagon site where you'll have all you can eat barbecue, live music, be surrounded by the rustic beauty with friends and family. It's the perfect way to end your, your evening. And you know, as is, uh, you know, so many things that, that Johnny Morris is associated with, this is not only a, oh look, it's pretty. This is an education place. Yes, and right here behind us, we have the Nature Conservation Center mm -hmm. where we have interactive experiences for all ages to learn about conservation and inspire our future conservationists. And also we have our swinging bridge here that comes across to our one of a kind tree house yes. where we also have our plant life and wildlife resources you can look at. We have the stairs that have 11 different species of trees from the Ozarks. And this was built by the treehouse masters themselves, Pete Nelson. They built it in 21 days back in 2015. Incredible. Yes. But this, this, I mean, you're hearing so much, but this is what Dogwood Canyon is all about. There is so much to see, so much to do, and so many ways to do it. If people want to keep track of all of this, how do they do it? Come and visit us. We want you to enjoy the great outdoors and connect with nature and learn all about conservation. Right, and this is the perfect place to do it. And you know what? I think I'm going to hit the trail on the bike, all right? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay. We'll see you later. Back to you. I'll tell you another thing that they do is they put on an excellent field trip. I went with one of my kids a few oh, months ago, okay. and they had educators there in, they have like little classrooms, and yeah. they were teaching them about predators and prey, and so like we, they had a little lesson, plus we got to like have our picnic lunch and go explore and it, yeah. fishing, and it's just a wonderful place to visit. Yeah. You should do that. That's really fun. I've actually never been to Dogwood Canyon, but it's been on like my Ozarks bucket list for a while, well, so you, maybe I go check it out soon. Check it off. I know. Like. Genuinely. <laughs> All right. More fun is still ahead on Ozarks Live. Yep. We're getting you the latest headlines from Hollywood when we return.